We are here at my parents' house. We had a lovely day yesterday looking at all the cemeteries and we had a great 4th of July celebration. Just a few small fireworks. I do live in the city so we can't set off any big ones. Um, we just kind of looked around. A gorgeous full moon um, and it is hot and muggy and my glasses are already fogging up. Whew, it's going to be a hot one. But we are off in a little bit to go see some more cemeteries and he make our way back to home. Took a short walk down a long road. Took me a while just to figure out what I should do. Thought I had me nothing in common with the girl from up on the hill. Baby, I'm not trying to scare you away, just showing you how I feel. Yeah, well, there's a few things you don't know, but knowledge comes with time. I'm inside the world now, mama, come climb inside my mind. And I'm old enough to know the one thing I know for sure is nothing. And you've seen enough to know this good thing we have. Oh, a buck. Archaic, 1540, when Hernando de Soto came through here, long hunter, and then this is Dragon Canoe. This is the only statue of Dragon Canoe in all of Tennessee that people can see. <laughs> They're beautiful. This is a purple clover. Mm -hmm. I heard a woodpecker. Yeah. Oh, look over there. Leia. Leia. <laughs> Let's go see. Wait, that's my gravestone? <laughs> no. Uh oh, Leia. <laughs> Oh dear. Is it Leia anything? Robert L. Julia A. Oh my god, Julia too. Julia? Mama. Oh no. Actually, I think you say Lee. Well, rest in peace, Lee. <laughs> look at you. Oh, look Down here. Down here, I think they would call it, they say Lee. Yeah, that's what we were just telling her. <laughs> here we are at Sarah Ch Sarah's Chapel Cemetery in Wildwood, Georgia. And uh, it's really off the beaten path, off Wahatchee Pike. And we stopped here because it's full of what I call uh, prism graves. They're triangular burial monuments. And here we have two on the bottom, one larger one, one skinnier one. So that's five, uh, four. And then this is broken. But essentially three tiers of church stone that have been broken by uh, their placement on the earth. The earth has shifted. They've broken this one. The other ones are shaped in a triangle in a prism form and we don't know exactly why. Oftentimes it's really hard to read the markings on these stones especially when the Sun is coming down to the from the east to you and you're looking here and you just don't see get the shadows. One trick to use is to go to your phone, turn on the flashlight, and hold it sideways like this, and there you get it. T-H-O-M-A-S-L-T-N-N-E-R, Tanner. Thomas Tanner. So that's a handy use of having a phone with you at the time. Make sure you turn it off. <laughs> so 
So that's one type of triangular shaped tomb. This is what happens when they break up and uh, aren't taken care of. They collapse inward. People, sometimes people have been known to take pieces of tomb away with them for stone steps. Well, this tree has grown. Pushed up the back side. Pushed up the back side. Cedar. Cedar tree. Oh. Cedar tree, big cedar. Oh, somebody took care of this grave where the tree died and they needed to get rid of it. I guess we could call them longstone graves. I like longstone graves. <laughs> they're not the same as what we were calling prism graves earlier. Well, they are. They're triangular shaped. Well, I know, but they're not made out of slabs, skinny Two slabs. slabs. Yeah. True. That is true. Uh, but we're going to see some other different kinds, but they all, what's similar is that they're all triangular. Nine. Come back, See come this way, girls. Look at that. It's so weird. <laughs> this is definitely not a venomous oh, one because you can kids. see the snout is very round. Oh, that's that's good to know. Usually the kids mm -hmm. who want to so, honor their mom and dad. Probably a little garter snake or garden like snake. When they were kids and then getting or a baby black them, snake or king snake. And inheriting their wealth. I don't know. As adults and then saying, well. Remember when I was freaking them. out about a um, rat snake when we were on our walk? You pointed out. Oh, when snake? we saw that rat snake on our walk. I remember that. What'd you find, Tashi? A bunch of kids. A bunch of kids. Yeah, that was the longest living one, and then all the ones after it. Died. The snake is gonna eat the human. The same day, the same day, and then three days after. And they all have little lambs. They're all the Dugan, Dugan family. Oh, um, no, I'm this not. One, this one was not a child. This, but they, that, that one grew up. She grew up. Must have been a sibling. Yeah. To so all these, these yeah, and then the mom other and babies dad are right that, there. Hmm. This, yeah. the mom outlived this Dorothy. Yeah, Dorothy Interesting. She died in 2001. And the mom she died, died in 2001. She died in 2002. Oh, wow, that poor woman. Must have been horrible. This is a perfect example of why I want a drone. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the drone pitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, for one thing, you could what you could do is fly over and map, or you would uh, eventually map all the placement of the markers, and then get the names. You could assign the names to them, and then see what the markers are around them, and see if there's a relationship between the uh, family names. There you go. Mapping. <laughs> Mapping a cemetery. And there's, that's why we need a drone, Julie. <laughs> <laughs>
Here are some more box tombs. Look at that size of that. The width of a of that ledger stone. Two, four, six, probably eight box tombs. These ones have sides. That one has a side that's collapsed in. That's one of the ways you can tell it slides. One of these days we're going to go down to uh, see Path Killer's tomb in North Georgia at Echota. And you'll see that this is the same shape that Path Killer's tomb down in Georgia has. Except it's bigger, better. So, so, so cute. Wait a minute. Is this a one. fairy circle? Oh no, did we step in a fairy ring? Oh no. Because there's, there's another one there. Oh. Uh -oh. Now <laughs> Let's get out of this fairy ring. What happens if you step in one? The fairies will come and take you away. Let's get out of here.